What up, green kitties? Meow. Hi, guys. I have not talked to you guys since yesterday, right? Because today is Saturday, I think. Yeah, today's Saturday. What up, y'all? Happy Saturday. Mm-mm-mm. Happy Saturday. Mind me none. Mind me none, okay? If you see a little white, that's deodorant. Mind me none, okay? Mind me none. Anyway, hi, guys. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Let me know in the comments how you how's your Saturday going, how you doing. You know, today is just me. Mwah. No children in the back. No husband on the side. It's just all of me today. Usually, I take a... um. A me day on a Sunday. Normally, I give my oh, I give my all my days to my family. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Um. Normally, I do Sundays for me to regroup, get ready for the week. But um, I decided to take today, um, which is Saturday. Um, I decided to just be by myself. I woke up this morning. I was okay, but. Uh, just woke up with my heart a little heavy. You know how you can wake up sometime with your heart a little heavy? My heart was a little heavy this morning. And I didn't know why, you know. It just was heavy. So I listened to the word. I got up, got myself together, got dressed, got out that ugly fog that I was in. And I told my husband, I'm going to take my day today and um, to be by myself. And so he said, okay. So, yeah, he's with the kids. I don't know what they're doing. If they went out, I haven't checked on them. I've been gone about, it's 5 o'clock. It's 5.30. I think I left about 3. So, I've been gone maybe an hour or two. I haven't been gone long. Um, I just got done eating church's chicken. Sweet tea right now. I just ordered some, uh, I mean, ordered I ate some fried okra, sweet tea, a little, uh, they have, they have the chicken and the shrimp, chicken strips and shrimp. No, I can't eat none of that. Okay. But no, first of all, hold up, hold up. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment down below. Hold on. I got some shit I got to get off my chest and I'm glad I reminded myself. Let me say this. For anybody who work in the in the food industry, okay, S especially drive through, okay, I'm only speaking to drive through workers right now, okay. Number one, I don't ever clown nobody for having a job. I don't care what you do, long you got a job, you good with me. You know, I'm not a person like that. Like, oh, you beneath me, you work at no. I still treat them with respect as I would anybody you know working inside a, a, a doctor's office to me you know because you're serving a goddamn need right could i do it no i could never do it not i could do it if i had to do it let me say that i could do it if i had to do it but that wouldn't be my thing to do because i'm not good with people somebody do something i'm i'm uh, I, I i'm fired okay so I could never work in the food industry because I'm not a I don't I don't I'm not a people person like that. So it would never work for me, right? But for the ones who can, I take my hats off off to you guys. But but drive through people. Okay? Listen to me. Hear me. Hear me. Hear hear, hear me y'all. Drive through people. Drive through people. That means I'm only speaking to the people who work through the drive through. Okay, especially the ones taking the orders. Now listen. I hate when I get my order, when people get my order wrong, period. Okay? I don't like it, period, okay? But I especially don't like it when it's a drive-thru. Now, I ordered, and I know my order was a little, maybe a little weird, but I ordered a, a leg and a breast. And if anybody been to church's chicken, you understand that their their uh, thighs, not their thighs, their wings are like this big. So I can't fuck around with them. I am a breast wing person. I like breast and wing. I'm not even really a leg person at all. I don't like dark meat at all. But breast and wing is all I like, okay? You give me breast and a wing, I'm cool. Now, um, 
every blue moon you may can throw a leg in there you know what i'm saying every blue moon but that's not my go-to that's not my go-to i'm a breast and wing girl right so if anybody know about church's chicken some places you guys have it some places you don't it's like a kfc for the people that don't know it's like a kfc of popeyes it's like that for the ones who don't know it's called church's chicken they sell chicken in the same shit kfc sell macaroni cheese mashed potatoes whatever whatever right okay so but church's chicken been coming on with like super duper uh steroid ass chicken man especially the wings man the wings are not like this no more they're like this and i can't fuck around with it i can't eat it eat that so i said well you know i'm gonna get a breast because they don't go too crazy with a breast you know um and i'm gonna do a leg something i can kind of identify yeah it's, it's a leg it looked like a leg i can I, you know but when that wing I, I don't understand so i asked for a breast and a leg usually when people ask for a leg it'll be a thigh and a leg or if someone asks for a breast it'll be a breast and a wing but well because they shit is full of drugs i had to pick and choose what animal of the drug i i wanted to eat right so the breast i felt safe with and the leg i, I, I felt safe with okay so a breast and a leg mashed potatoes and a sweet tea and then on the side, give me a small macaroni and cheese. Now, is they macaroni and cheese good? Absolutely, it's not. But that's what I wanted. Okay, cool. I pay. And the Holy Spirit told me to check my bag. I said, no, I ain't going to check my bag. I ain't going to check my bag. You know, because of the worst they could do is give me a wing or something you know what i'm saying well that's the worst they can do and at this point i'm starving i really don't give a fuck right i thought i didn't give a fuck so i go to my little destination so i can pull up and eat y'all why in the fuck do they give it give me excuse me chicken strips and shrimp and fries He had repeated my order and everything. Even at the window, he said, you know how they repeat your order? Is this your order? Wooty woot, wooty woot. And I said, yeah. So I guess they must have got the bags wrong. Now, mind you, it's only one more person behind me. They're not crowded. It was not a, a crowded situation. You don't have to be super fast. Nothing. So I'm already, you know, tucked into my parking spot. I'm not moving. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna move. I'm mad as fuck though, Be because I want to say me and my family we eat out every day, damn near every day, right? I haven't cooked in a while since I can't eat my own food. Okay, I haven't cooked in a minute. Okay, because I ain't got no teeth, and I like. I know my shit tastes good. So, fuck it. If I'm suffering, my family's suffering too. Okay, family that prays together and suffer together will stay together. Yeah, these motherfuckers suffering too, okay? So we eat out a lot. And I want to tell you, out of seven days of eating out, about six days of it, someone's getting my order wrong. And what drive through people don't understand is that it's not about coming back. No, I'm sorry. It's not about y'all redoing it over and y'all apologize. It's about gas. You know what I'm saying? And I get and I'm not mad at the people who are rushing. I'm mad because they got a timer, especially McDonald's. McDonald's got this motherfucking timer. And it be happening. It seemed like it's gonna take some of their money if they not on that timer. But what McDonald's gotta understand, and Carl's Juniors and anybody else who runs with a timer with y'all employees, they're fucking up our meals, yo. Not because they they can't get it. Not because they dumb. Because they so worried about the timer trying to get everybody. Man, what the fuck? Don't do that. Because we got to pay for it. We got to either eat the fucking shit that we didn't order. Or go back, waste gas, then waste time. And or, or hope you don't get a bitch who mad at you. Because she got your shit wrong y'all i don't like it so you know i'm gonna say to the drive-thru people drive-thru people 
drive through people. Hear me out. This is what y'all can do. If you could. When you see me. When you see a sh little bitch with red hair and a white Range Rover on 24s, okay? I'm going to need you guys to just look in my bag and see if my shit is right. That's it. That's it, y'all. Because I don't have no teeth in my mouth, okay? They at the dentist. And I can't eat that crispy shit like that. I'm already doing too much fucking around now, okay? But them shrimp almost took my life today, okay? Because I was so hungry, I was trying to make it work. I peeled out all the crispy part. And I had that little, and it was a little shrimp was about this goddamn, this little, but it was so little. All that goddamn crust was on it. This much crust, this much shrimp. And it almost took me out. It almost took me out. Okay? So, y'all gotta do better. That should be burning me up, y'all. Let me tell you what they did a couple of days ago. Burger King. I get a kid's meal. For my kids. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> okay. They put everything in the bag. I'm like, okay, cool. The only thing that saved me is that I let I was letting my kids eat in the parking lot in of the of the Burger King. I wasn't going home. So when I pulled over in the parking lot, I'm giving everybody they shit. They bad, you know, they kids meal bad. They like, mama, ain't nothing in here but fries. Bitch, do y'all know <laughs> that all three of the kids' meal of chicken nuggets didn't have no chicken nuggets. It had all fries, toys, napkin, sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> I'm like, you fucking, you got to be kidding me now. And, you know, I don't get mad. Like I used to. When I was younger, oh my God. They, I would have threw that shit up there. You know, now I understand I'm much older and I'm a better Christian, okay? And I understand that they, they're running off this clock. See, I was young and dumb when I was cussing them out. They're running off of a clock that has something to do with the big corporation. So if I'm not going to call the big corporation and cuss their ass out, if I'm not going to make a, a, a petition to change, if I'm not going to really do no real work to the people who's doing this shit, then I'm not going to yell at the people, you know, the employees. That's not their fault. It's not their fault. You, It's really not. So anybody who get angry if they fuck up, y'all, it's not their fault. Don't get mad at them. If you really mad and you really want to see a change or you really call the people, call the corporation on a receipt, call them. I don't, I, I give a fuck, but I'm not that much. So, if I don't give a much, to, if I don't give a fuck a much enough to call the main head office, I'm not going to cuss off these young girls that are just trying to get a paycheck. Or these young boys, or these old bitches, whoever the fuck is working in there. Just trying to get a paycheck. It's not their fucking fault, period. And growth and being a better Christian, okay? Help, help me with that. So, I went back... Especially if you need to go get your, especially if you're trying to have them redo it or have them, um, you know, do it right or whatever. You don't want to send your food back with a bad attitude. You know what I'm saying? You know, you just don't, you know, you don't really want to talk shit to the people who got to give you back your food. You really don't want to do that. So, um, and again, it's not their fault. You know, now some people. It could be, and some of them could have a bad attitude. Not everybody who I turn the food in, they didn't fucked up, even though I have a good attitude, don't have a good attitude. Sometimes I be like, bitch, I want to get some rocks and put them in a sock and, and, and knock your fucking head off, bitch. What are you mad at me about? You know what I'm saying? Especially when these foods now, y'all, I think I spend 45 to $50 just for kids, for me and my husband and my three kids to eat. At these fucking places. Like this shit has gotten expensive. And then y'all want to fuck up. And then I got to drive home. Then I got to drive back. Like you know. So please don't give me the attitude. Please don't give me the attitude. Okay. So that's that. Also. For the people. Yeah. Fuck it. I don't care. I ain't got nothing to say today. I'm about with no kids. I'm finna talk to the people. If anybody is watching. Anybody know that somebody share this. Okay. Listen to the people. Who makes sandwiches, burgers, anything. Anything that has to do with you putting some sauce on some shit, okay? I don't... A lot of people don't like they shit just drowned out with mustard, yo. 
or mayonnaise or ketchup. Like when it start getting ugly on a sandwich, don't do that. Just I less is best, bro. Less is best, man. I'm not a big mayo person, right? I like Miracle Whip number one, but I'm not a big old, you know, saucy type of person. You know, a little bit does me well, okay? So I'll always tell them easy, easy. I got to tell them easy. Now, I didn't have to. Back in the days when I was young, it seemed like they had a measuring situation. A measuring situation. Now, they just... Err, err, err. I get a sandwich. This motherfucker... Man, it, all you see is yellow because man, uh, mustard is every fucking where. It's so disrespectful. My bun is, 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 is already soaked. Don't give me no soaked bun. Like, am I the only one that's tripping like this, y'all? And then I got to turn back in the drive-thru because they got me fucked up. I can't eat this. So, less is best, man. If they want more, then they got to turn around. Not, not the bitch who don't want that much. Shit. Man, I had got a chicken sandwich. When I tell you, they had put... I said, do they, not, do they know me? Did I do something to them? They had disrespected my sandwich so motherfucking bad with all this ketchup and mayo. The lettuce was whelped down. I said, did I do something to these motherfuckers? You know, in my past life, you know, I got a face that's unforgettable around this bitch. You feel me? Like, I got a face that's unforgettable. You feel me? And I was a beast in my younger days, but I am completely different going into my 40s. Did I do something to this bitch here today? You know, or back in my past life, because this bitch had disrespected my sandwich so bad that I told her, give me back my money. I don't even want you, I don't trust you motherfuckers to do another one. Just give me back my money. Just, just no, 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 no. Did it come on a card? Nope. It, I gave it to you cash. Just give it to me cash, please. Here the receipt. Nah, I don't trust you. They had disrespected my sandwich so bad, y'all. And y'all probably like, you petty, you petty. I'm not petty, y'all. And I am, that's my husband calling. I am specific, though. I am a eater. I am a person that, <clears throat> you know, eats, you know, I have my little quirks and shit. Like, when I go to certain places, I need ketchup, honey, butter. I need everything. Like, I'm at home. Okay? Yeah. If I don't know what sauce you got and I ain't never tasted it, give me one of each. Don't I don't give a fuck how much it costs. I want one of each, I'll give you the money. I'm going to tell y'all a quick story real quick. Me and my husband went to Red Lobster. Me and my husband and my family. Y'all know that. Um, We went to Red Lobster, right? Do I got time to tell this story? Let me know in the next video if y'all want to hear my... Matter of fact, I'm going to make another video because I ain't got shit else to do. Like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below, all that good stuff. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Yeah. Bye.